Okay, so that's where we're starting, I guess. Okay, so let's talk. Now, why am I doing a, a cut? The reason is I'm at the top end of my body weight goal. So I want to get between 78 and 88 kgs. And I'm at 87.1 as you saw. Now when I get towards this top spectrum, I have to cut down so I can start the bulking process again. Now, that's the only reason why I'm doing it. And also because to myself personally, I'm losing definition. Um, the muscles aren't as clear as they should be. They can be a lot clearer, but I just want to get them slightly bit more cut. And it has been a year and a half, so my hormone levels are great. The strength is up there. Now the goal is going to be to maintain as much strength as possible. So that's tip number one for you guys. When you are dieting, you want to make sure that you're lifting as heavy, if not heavier, than you were when you were bulking. This is going to make sure that your muscle fibers actually have something to stay around for. If not, you're just going to be losing all that hard-earned muscle and it's going to be pointless. Okay, we're going to take my little, not my little, but my big doggy for a walk because he needs some um, exercise. Yeah. And shout. speak about is my own personal macro so basically I'm going to be hitting 340 to 350 carb um, 170 to 180 protein and what's the other one 60 to 70 grams of fat now the reason why I'm hitting these macros is because well I know my body pretty well so I'm going to see how my weight does with this and if I lose the appropriate amount of weight as weeks go on, they'll stay the same. If I'm not losing weight, I'll drop them. If I'm losing weight too fast, I'll increase them. And later in the video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do your own macros. But I think first I'm going to go to gym, then make a post work up meal. And then we can speak about how you can figure out your own macros for fat loss. So let's hit an edit in three. Two. Command the roll. One. Do I messed up this bed? Okay guys, so we're back from the gym. 
we've had a good meal and now I'm going to go shower and then afterwards I'm going to tell you what you clicked on this damn video for in the first place. I'm going to tell you and show you yeah, how to calculate your own macros for fat loss. So let me go shower quickly. Now let's go have a little chat. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. How to calculate your macros for fat loss. Now guys, here it is. What I want you to do is go down into the description box below, click on the macro calculator, it'll take you to a page where you can add in all your numbers and that's how you get your macros. Okay, goodbye. I'm kidding. But literally there is a calculator down below that will give you generic numbers on macros you can follow. Now let me just say guys, there is no easy way to calculate your macros. Yes, it is as simple as plugging it into a calculator, using a formula I have in my textbook, or a lot of other things, but everything is very individual, individualized. You have to know how is a person's metabolism, their history of dieting, any illnesses they may have, any um, metabolic diseases they may have, all these things play a role in how much a person can eat, how much a person can't eat. This calculator I have listed is very good, but it does not take into account everyone's specific needs. For instance, someone that's 100 kgs and obese, compared to someone that's 100 kgs and, a super, and is a super heavyweight bodyboarder, they weigh exactly the same. And let's say they both have a desk job and train five days a week. If you plug all these values in to your calculator, you'll get exactly the same macros for both of these people. Now you're gonna tell me that someone that's obese can eat the same macros as someone that's pretty much an, an elite level bodyboarder? I highly, highly doubt so. And that's an issue. A calculator will not give you the same response that an online coach can. That's why I started an online coaching business because I wanted to give people a very affordable way in order to lose weight or gain muscle without having to second guess themselves. Literally just getting a plan, completing the plan and getting the results. Easy as that. I don't want people to go off the course and use numbers from a calculator and they end up like just going off the bandwagon because they've had metabolic damage from no carb and no fat dieting and therefore they try the calculators, carbs and fats they give them and they see why am I gaining 3 kgs? Because your meta metabolism is damaged you aren't used to eating the normal amount of carbs and fat anymore. You're probably doing an immense amount of cardio and all that. Now, the calculator is not going to tell you how much cardio to do. Guys, I'm not sure if this is an answer you want to hear, but I have given you something you can follow, and I am offering my services as an online coach. So, depending on which one you want to use, here's my email, rockartcoaching at gmail.com. Either send me an email, Send me an email anyway, tell me your macros and I'll let you know are they good, are they not good, what do I think and I'll give you my personal opinion. No strings attached, no cost, just let me help you. If you want your own custom set of macros and exercise plan, then let me know and we'll arrange something at a very affordable cost to you. Thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to give, a, forget to give this video a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what videos you want to see next and I hope you enjoyed the first video in my diet series. We've got a lot more of these to go and I'm freaking amazed to have you guys with me. So, enjoy the rest of the day, evening, whatever it is where you are.